This year's Battle of the Sword was simple for Ledger. Beat Fitch and they're into the Class M playoffs. Ty Ebden gets the Colonels on the board first with a five yard touchdown pass to River Thomas. Just like that, seven nothing Ledger. On the ensuing kickoff, Luke Saccone recovers his own squib kick, Ledger with the ball. Later, Ty Ebden then finds receiver River Thomas across the middle for the score, 13 0 Colonels. But Jordan Panucci and the Falcons not rolling over. After they force the JoJo Shoemaker fumble, John Moskal breaks off a 43 yard run, give them all six of those. Just like that, we're tied at 13. But just before the half, Joseph Carter slaloms through the Falcons' D for an eventual touchdown and a 21-13 Ledger lead at the half. The long run by Joe right before the half to put us up a score, I think uh, really kind of got the momentum back in our favor. Uh, the kids felt good about it, got a little bit of confidence back underneath them, and uh, we played very well in the second half. The Colonels rushing attack just too much for Fitch. JoJo Shoemaker makes a couple of guys miss en route to a 63-yard touchdown run. And in the fourth, Fitch going for it on fourth down, and Luke Saccone comes up with the interception and provides the exclamation point as well as he runs it all the way back. Ledger wins 49-19, and they are in the playoffs. Real happy for the kids, 9-2. and two, uh, You know, when we started back on August 14th, I don't think there's too many people that uh, thought we'd be a nine-win football team and heading to the state playoffs. Uh, these guys have worked hard. They believed in the process, uh, you know, which is just day in and day out, you know, setting a standard for ourselves and getting better each day. And, and uh, I think they have a legitimate chance to compete for a state championship. No question about it. We have the weapons, and, uh, and uh, we're, we're excited to get to work and, um, you know, see where we're going to be on Tuesday night.